Item number, SCP-591, Object Class, Euclid. Special Containment Procedures. Instances of SCP-591 are to be kept in a separate storage containment vault, at least 500 meters away from any civilian population, essential civilian infrastructure, or other Foundation-controlled containment facilities. SCP-591 are to be activated only during approved testing by Level 3 staff. Test subjects affected by SCP-591 during testing are to remain in the area until SCP-591 has been turned off. Outside of testing, SCP-591 is to remain deactivated. Any new ZK-class scenarios created by SCP-591 will need to have a closed concrete dome structure built to contain it. These areas will also be designated as Sector W Number. Sectors W1 through W5 that exist currently are to be monitored remotely and be kept under clandestine 2 type status. Personnel or test subjects within a Sector W Number are to remain there and be considered as lost collateral. Any devices suspected to be an instance of SCP-591 are to be confiscated immediately. Description SCP-591 refers to a line of video game consoles, originally developed as a counterfeit of the Nintendo Entertainment System (NES). SCP-591 was labeled as Pretendo in 1985 and manufactured in Southeast Asia. Official records indicate that the Pretendo brand was bought by another company, Dr. Wondertainment supposedly to establish themselves in the growing video game market. Pretendo was then re-engineered as a standalone console system that was capable of playing both NES games and Dr. Wondertainment's own line of 8-bit video game titles, hereby referred to as SCP-591 Number. Such SCP-591 Number titles include, but are not limited to, Designation SCP-591-1 Title, Eskimo Mo. Genre, Platform. Release date, January 1986. Designation, SCP-591-3. Title, Wapum. Genre, Arcade Shooter. Release date, January 1986. Designation, SCP-591-6. Title, Dusky's Adventures in Stadeland. Genre, Platform. Release date, February 1986. Designation, SCP-591-11. Title, You Can Do That on Television. Genre, Survival Horror. Release date, April 1986. Designation, SCP-591-15 Title WLB Sports Deluxe Genre Sports Release Date May 1986 Designation SCP-591-20 Title World War I Ace Trench Digger Genre Puzzle Release Date July 1986 Designation SCP-591-29 Title Led Zeppelin Air Racers Genre Music and Racing Release Date October 1986 Designation SCP-591-38 Title Super Kick Karate Genre Fighting Release Date December 1986 Designation SCP-591-41 Title Super Kick Karate 2010 Genre Fighting Release Date February 1987 Designation SCP-591-44 Title Final Kick Karate Ultimate Greatness Genre Pinball Release date, March 1987. Designation, SCP-591-45. 
title, The Legend of Swordmaster, includes Sword Controller. Genre, Fighting and Simulator. Release date, June 1987. Designation, SCP-59146. Title, Reading Rainbow Sit and Listen. Genre, Educational. Release date, September 1987. Whenever SCP-591 number is inserted into SCP-591 and activated, it creates a minimized and isolated CK-class reality restructuring scenario that resembles the game's intended content. Individuals inside these affected areas will usually assume the role of the game's main character or protagonist. This effect does not apply when a normal NES cartridge is inserted into SCP-591. Because of the degradation and age of SCP-591's electronic and computer components, the CK-class reality restructuring scenarios have an increased chance of becoming isolated ZK-class reality failure scenarios of varying areas of effect. Unlike the CK-class scenarios, which revert after SCP-591 is deactivated, the ZK-class scenarios remain permanently as a fixed location. These locations have been designated as Sector W1 through Sector W5. Each ZK-class scenario is different with varying and seemingly random parameters, which include but are not limited to extreme gravitic fluctuations or absence thereof, time dilation, light speed significantly reduced or even halted, randomly placed cubic structures of varying elements in a solid state, including some actinoids, regardless of half-life, Absence of any kind of naturally occurring radiation, including cosmic background radiation. Areas that consist of a perfect vacuum. The creation of nonlinear spatial anomalies, or a similar transfiguration applied to pre-existing structures, and or. Based on previous testing, a ZK-class scenario being generated from a CK-class scenario has steadily increased from a chance of 1% to 32% over the last 28 years in Foundation custody. Based on Seized Wondertainment Company records, there are suspected to be a total of 243 consoles and roughly 1,300 game cartridges still unaccounted for, including an alleged pocket pretendo that may or may not exist as a prototype. To date, no mass unit recall for SCP-591 has been issued by Dr. Wondertainment. Addendum 591001. There have been a limited number of case reports involving some individuals physically surviving a ZK class scenario. These individuals recovered from the incidents are usually altered so drastically that they have little chance of survival outside of their respective Sector W number. There are also two reported cases of an individual leaving a ZK class scenario physically unaltered but continue to assume the role of the game's main character pre-incident. Because the effects of SCP-591 during a ZK-class scenario are largely unknown and are becoming exceedingly unpredictable and dangerous to research, all further playtesting of SCP-591 and SCP-591 number is hereby suspended until further notice. Lesson complete. If you missed the previous orientation, go watch SCP-590. He feels your pain right now. Or for the complete course, watch this playlist.